Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and today we're talking about the Eucharist. Specifically, when should we receive the Eucharist? When are we worthy to receive? There are verses in the Bible that say that one shouldn't receive unless one is worthy. Therefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, or drink the chalice of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and of the blood of the Lord. But let a man prove himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of the chalice. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh judgment to himself, not discerning the body of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 11, 27-29 now, here, I think it's important to point something out. When we say unworthy, we don't mean undeserving. Being permitted to consume the living flesh of God himself is not something that any of us can deserve. Unworthy, in this context, means something more like unready or unprepared. It means that the person's soul is not in the right state to receive God as they should, and therefore, receiving in the state they're in would be a sin because it would be disrespectful to the Lord. As that last Bible quote indicates, there are a few things that are necessary in order for a person to receive worthily. First, the person must recognize that the Eucharist is actually Jesus. You can't receive him worthily without this. As it says at the end of the scripture passage I just quoted, not discerning the body of the Lord is a big problem. Secondly, if you've committed a mortal sin which you haven't yet confessed to a priest, don't receive the Eucharist. You need to repent of your sins and participate in the Sacrament of Reconciliation before receiving, as we've recently discussed. Third, if you didn't fast sufficiently before Mass begins, one hour according to the Code of Canon Law, three according to the older traditions, don't go up to receive the Eucharist. If you're not old enough to recognize that the Eucharist is the sacrifice of Jesus on our behalf and haven't received your First Communion yet, don't try to receive the Eucharist. Obviously, you also need to be a baptized member of the Church if you want to receive the Eucharist. If we receive the Eucharist, we should do so as respectfully as possible, treating the Eucharist as what it is, the real presence of Jesus. We should kneel on one knee before entering the pew and kneel down to pray after we receive the Eucharist, and we should always try to receive in the most respectful way that we can. During the Easter season, however, and if you're in danger of death, things are a little different. All Catholics are required to receive the Eucharist at least once during every Easter season, and when we're in danger of death, we should absolutely receive. In most other cases, the option to just refrain from receiving is open to us. We need to attend Mass, but are under no obligation to receive. In those two instances, however, as long as you're old enough to receive, you should receive the Eucharist. One last thing. You might be wondering what happens if we've committed sins that weren't mortal sins. After all, no kind of sin is good for the soul. What if you receive the Eucharist in a state of venial sin? If you've committed venial sins and you receive the Eucharist, the power of the Eucharist is so great that all your venial sins will be forgiven, provided that you want to be forgiven of them. After all, God won't do this to you against your will. Next time, where did the Eucharist come from, and who set it up? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.